What's up? Anybody home? Tyler? I didn't expect you so soon. <gasps> Be a good boy and preheat the oven. She cheating oh, on me? And pour us a couple of glasses of champagne from the fridge. I'll be out in a minute. Oh, there better not be a nobody else in there. Dude, that's an old stove. Holy. Champagne. <clears throat> what are we gonna make? Like, frozen pizza? Some champagne? I mean, that actually doesn't sound too bad. Got my boombox. <laughs> Put some slow jazz on. Oh shit! Hello, Detective Miles. Do you know what day it is today? Probably our anniversary. Uh, well, we already had Christmas, so Fourth of July. No, that's summer. No, you got me. Tyler. Okay, okay, babe. It's been exactly two years since I met the woman of my dreams. You want to put some music on? I feel like dancing. I would, but I mean, I don't want copyright strikes. Um, all right, boys, we're going to do this, but uh, there's copyright strikes. I'm going to have to mute the video. So I don't know. Or I'll cut it out. How do I turn this on? There's not going to be any music because I don't know how to turn I guess we don't do the boom box. We're going to do the this. Maybe I'll just sing over it. Be like, I like dancing with my baby girl. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Quick time events, we're dancing. I gotta sing, cause copyright's bad. Let it go. Uh oh. Oh, it's gonna be some censorship shit here, I already know. Now I had all the pieces of the puzzle. I just needed to put them all together to find our murderer. On my desk lay all the information from Mazer and Jones. On Tyler's desk, the clues from the restaurant. The identity of the killer was here somewhere. Man, I'm kind of happy there was no sex scene there, because I was like, damn, man, I gotta censor some more. The killer's prints found on the murder weapon. <clears throat> it's been so long since I played this game. <clears throat> it's been probably a week and a half since I played this game, so I don't even really know what's going on. The Shakespeare book found in Lucas Kane's desk at the bank. No. No connection between those two elements. I wonder who's calling. Detective Hello. Valenti. Hi, Carla. It's Garrett. I called to tell you that I sent you the results of the testing we did on the prints on that pen. They should already be in your email. Perfect. Thanks, Garrett. I'll take a look right away. The taxi company should have sent you a list of taxi destinations from the same street as the diner the night of the murder. It should be on the facts in your office. Thanks. Bye, Garrett. Bye, Carla. Uh-oh, we're gonna find out the truth now. And our boy... Uh... His name... I think it was like Kyle or... I don't know. Who's the main guy of this game? It's been so long. Lucas Kane's fingerprints. Lucas, that's it. Uh oh. Uh oh. No doubt about it. The prints from the restaurant and the pen come from the same person. I've got my first link. I'll need another in order to establish proof that Kane is our man. I wonder what the ending of this game is going to be. For our boy, Lucas Kane. He's screwed. I still don't know if he's taxi crazy. Destinations on the night of the murder. <clears throat> if the killer left the scene in a taxi, his address might be here. 
Like there's either um some like weird crazy cult thing controlling him, which I think that's probably what's happening. Or Lucas Kane is a crazy person. Just getting tired, dude. I'm getting tired too. It's late. It's been a long day too. But I thought, you know what? We'll go play some in the gold prophecy for the boys. Lucas Kane's fingerprints. I guess. Okay. Never mind. Leave. I don't know what to link this with. No, that doesn't no. work. I didn't think so. Come in. Oh, hi, Carla. I saw the light was on, so I thought I'd, uh, you know, come in and say hello. Nice to see you, Martin. It's calmer here at night. It helps me think a little clearer. Oh, I'll be around for at least another hour reports to type up. Come and see me if you need some company. Catch you later, Martin. He seems like a good guy. Watch, he'll be like the crazy murderer guy. It's like, I'm tired of doing reports. <laughs> the list of calls made from the telephone at the restaurant on the night of the murder. The killer might have made one of these calls. I mean, possibly. Could I link that with the cab? Maybe? Alright, uh, we'll see. Oh, no link between these clues. I didn't think so, but it's worth a try. Hmm. Oh, she's just getting really tired. Ah, oh, boy. A composite photo of the killer. Like, that looks like him. What if I link that with... Taxi Cab? Like, maybe... You'd be like, oh yeah, I drove a guy that looked like that. <sighs> These things don't add up to proof. I don't think so, but worth a try. What's this book? The Shakespeare book found at the suspect's table in the diner. Shit, she's getting tired. Maybe the two books. We shall see. Your yawning is making me yawn. The two books are from the same collection and have the same dedication. They obviously belong to the same person. This time, there's no reasonable doubt. Lucas Kane is the restaurant killer. I've got to tell Tyler right away. <laughs> Tyler's a little occupied right now. She's like, Tyler, hello? Oh, baby. <sighs> Don't answer it, lover. Lover. Hello? We got him, Tyler. I'm on my way. Tyler, I'm warning you. If you leave me now, I will never forgive you. 
Okay. I won't be long, babe. Just sip some champagne and I'll be right back before you know it. I'm sorry, Sam, but this is really important. What about me? I'm not important. Tyler! <laughs> yes. I love that guy. What a pimp.